Hi guys, welcome to ACPM. I am Sia Nojalota. You have been seeing me and tolerating me since last so many months now for the videos that are there. Thank you for that. Uh, some people on Telegram had also told us why you only wear the same T-shirt each and every day. All those things really don't matter. Okay, so you are here for the content. I am here for the content. Let's only try to concentrate on the things that really matter. Okay, like in business. focus on the things that create value okay don't try to focus on all the nonsense things that do not create value okay it is not very important for me to be looking good okay but it is more important for me to be presenting the right content and that is whatever i try to be doing i try to teach how business works i try to be teaching what are the concepts that are required in the business you know your ca inter costing was cost accounting okay there was accounting guys okay but businesses don't run by accounting businesses run by gut sense okay businesses run from experience businesses run from knowledge okay and that is whatever this subject is going to be teaching you this chapter is all about emerging business models how the businesses have changed how the competition has become very intense how this world is today a world of innovations only and uh, how in future might be many things that we all see today might not be remaining also so let's start it off just before i start two things like always first you want to enroll in my complete course please link uh, click on the link that is there in the description below join my telegram channel and uh, the group for the updates on this subject let's start it off the question care beauty products limited planning to launch deodorant spray fresh okay it conducted a market study and found that there are first high barriers not easily allowing new players to enter and challenge existing companies okay second strong bargaining power of the buyers with fragmented preferences okay based on the above two things the chief strategist concluded that there is hyper competition while marketing vp holds a different opinion okay so it conducted a market research and there were two things that it found out that there were high entry barriers not allowing new players to enter and challenge existing companies second one there was strong bargaining power of the buyers with fragmented preferences like you know it is a spray company okay a deodorant spray some people might want a better fragrance some people might want a long lasting fragrance somebody might want a bigger content okay so on and so forth you uh, the question is what okay now the strategist okay the chief strategist concluded that there is hyper competition okay so based upon the above two facts but the question is what you are required to identify which of the above stated two findings correctly correctly represent hyper competition so is the first part correct or second part correct what represents hyper competition okay what do you mean by hyper competition hyper competition is a scenario whereby competition becomes so stiff that every company has to introduce something new every now and then to stay in the market if it does not introduce anything new it goes away from the market popular examples i can try to be saying again and again and again phone market the smartphone market is one of the biggest uh, examples of uh, hyper competition so many companies honestly it confuses me far more one other example suppose if you want to be taking say the insurance companies if you want to take a mediclaim policy or like you know a unit link based policy there are so many companies like you know offering wide range of products and everybody will have something extra as compared to the other company if you listen to one marketing guy he will be saying hdfc life is best you try to speak to somebody else that guy will be saying sbi life is best okay some other guy is why say say lombard is best blah blah Blah, blah blah there is so much amount of competition and if you are a company in this kind of a segment but you cannot try to have some series of short short uh, advantages believe me you will not survive think of companies like sony it was there in a the smartphone segment okay now it is not there a company like blackberry was there in the smartphone segment today is not there company like nokia today its presence is very less a big company like lg at one moment of time was number 3 in the world okay but now it is no longer there they have closed their smartphone division also 
सो फर्स्ट थिंग अबाउट दी स्मार्टफोन और अ हाइपर कॉम्पिटिशन मार्केट इज अ सेकेंड पॉइंट ओवर हियर स्ट्रॉन्ग बार्गेनिंग पार ऑफ द बायर्स बार्गेनिंग पार मीन्स सपोज टूडे इफ आई वॉन्ट टू बाय अ फोन ओके और एनी प्रोडक्ट वेयर बाय दे इज लॉट अमाउंट ऑफ कॉम्पिटिशन माई बार्गेनिंग पावर विल ऑलवेज बी हायर बिकॉज आई हैव सीरीज ऑफ कॉम्पिटिटर्स टू बी सिलेक्टिंग फ्रॉम आई कैन गो टू वन कॉम्पिटिटर इफ इट डज नॉट गिव मी द प्राइस एंड द फीचर्स एट आई वॉन्ट ब्रॉडली आई कैन गो ओवर टू एनी अदर कॉम्पिटिटर ऑल्सो बिकॉज आई हैव अ choice over here okay so therefore there is very high bargaining power of the buyer okay there is one thing so point number 2 seems to be correct that represents hyper competition but the first point high entry barriers not easily allowing entry uh players to enter and challenge existing and this is not true about about hyper competition in hyper competition basically new companies keep on coming keep on coming keep on coming they launch some things new in their products if the customer will like okay it's okay if the customers will not like then they'll have to come out with every new thing sir if they do not come they will be going away from the market okay try to think of companies which launched the ball pens because it was there in front of me automatically like you know you'll start to be realizing that companies tried it's a such a small product okay might be you go to a retailer and just pay 10 bucks and pick up the phone uh pick up the pen but then like you know there are so many sellers okay who are trying to be doing that and then somebody tries to leave a mark okay say that like you know some companies they will start to uh, advertise 5 kilometers to likhne wala pen somebody will be saying like you know that dark ink is there okay then somebody will be saying like you know that uh, the refill will give you an extra refill there are so many things that do come out at that time no entry to barriers is very less in case of hyper competition new companies can come if you'll try to be thinking like you know somebody can be saying sir smartphone then is not a example how can a person like me launch a smartphone beta it is a relative thing okay you all will understand that in the last so many years haven't you heard of new smartphones uh new smartphone companies you have oneplus oppo vivo mi you have a phone company called as nothing okay you have so many companies who have come there are so many companies who have gone like i told you say lg say sony say uh, blackberry and nokia okay these are the big ones but then there are small ones a company like uh, intex was there a company like uh, lava was there who was sponsoring the kapil sharma show at one time okay all of those companies have gone away from the market so there are low entry barriers low entry barriers means new companies can also come into this kind of a segment it is hyper competition see if there is hyper competition it itself means that there are lot of competitors lot of competitors will be there when entry to the barriers okay is very less example uh i cannot start to manufacture arms i cannot start to manufacture a pistol a revolver why because there is a entry barrier okay the government does not allow the private companies to manufacture arms like this okay there is a entry barrier i cannot become another player like say jio why because there is a entry barrier in form of huge capital that is required and that is why in india okay there are only three companies here which are there now because there are entry to barriers okay entry to barriers could be in form of say the patents by the other companies by the government in case of say the defense sector okay or by the amount of capital that is required but if you all start to be thinking then there is no hyper competition over there okay in case of the telecom sector there is no hyper competition there are only three sellers here and today all of them are not fighting a price a uh, price war after the elections of 2024 everyone had increased their price no by 20 to 25% so that's what i'm trying to be saying that in case of hyper competition there are low entry barriers not high so point number 1 is wrong point number 2 is correct so out of all the options i think so second one is correct beta so only two should be the correct answer so i see has written this thing i would like to be reading it hyper competition witnesses low entry barriers allowing new players to enter and challenge existing companies that makes competition further stiffer so therefore it should be only two that is a correct answer the qr code in case you will be scanning it gives you the link of a playlist go over there it will give you all the videos of scpm you do that and believe me it is 100% sure that you will be clearing your scpm exams there is absolutely no doubt about that trust me on that and one thing in case you are watching all these videos there is a thumbnail that is there for every video that has a number okay try to watch all the videos in order that will ensure like you know that you are trying to cover chapter by chapter all the things i'll see you all next time 
again with another video. Till then, take care. Thank you.